Hello everyone, I'm the Black Shadow, and I welcome you to another Let's Play. And I welcome you to arguably one of the greatest games that I think there has ever been made in history. It is a game which I have played extensively, although never actually finished. And it's got to be up there, even by... Sort of modern day sounds, I think, in terms of sheer gameplay, it's going to be one of the greatest that's ever been made. Yeah, it's made by Squaresoft, of course, now Square Enix. Produced by uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi, um, though not uh, the whole time. I believe um, during the uh, production of uh, this game, he actually um, had to uh, sort of withdraw from the uh, from that position. He was um, having a look. Um, a lot of stuff was going on at the time, so the two producers took over. <coughs> Sorry, Um, as uh, you probably guessed, uh, this I'm playing the uh, PlayStation version, um, which uh, was uh, there was a port of it uh, a few years after the uh, normal, the actual original release on SNES, and it had a few changes. Um, one of the main ones being this very uh, this video. Uh, this does not exist in the uh, SNES version. This is uh, it was uh, made for the uh, PlayStation port. It's damn cool as well. Command to the Empire Force in particular. Commence to launch the attack on Nashi. Coal Mine City. Oh, look, I suppose there's some kind of war going on. It. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay. He seems to have a few screws loose. Oh my. Yeah. If you have not seen or have not played Final Fantasy VI, then you do not realise what you have missed. I know this is like, uh, you know, this is uh, PlayStation 1, and it was the uh, last Final Fantasy before we hit the 3D era, of course, with uh, Final Fantasy 7, and all of its critical acclaim, but in my opinion, and this is going to be controversial, I think, in some ways, I think 6 is better than 7. And I will talk about that probably as I go along, or I'll just forget. Um, look at those damn things. Oh, they're like tanks. They ain't Transformers. But folks, I invite you to join me. And let's play Final Fantasy VI. Oh boy. I have been wanting to let's play this game for a while. And oh man, it's taken a lot of work to get this ready. Um, I tell you, I'll probably talk about that in a short bit. I love this little. I love this uh, bit here. <laughs> yes, Final Fantasy VI. Um, yeah, it's the uh, European version. Um, of course, uh, in the uh, United States version, at least for the SNES, um, it was uh, called uh, Final Fantasy III because it was the third Final Fantasy to be released over there. T to avoid confusion, yeah, great job, guys. You know, gr good work. Um, the uh, in fact, the US version had a couple interesting um, sort of uh, changes, I suppose you could say, um, which I'll probably comment on if I can remember them. Um, but, oh man, I have had to put so much work into getting this work ready, um, including 90 pages of paper I've had to print out with all sorts of information, uh, so thanks dad. Um, I've also, I've spent like, about two days solid, uh, trying to get this to work 100% properly. And f I think I have finally nailed it, thank god, thank god. Now before we start a uh, actual new game, one thing I want to quickly draw your attention to um, this little bonus section. Okay, that's interesting music for you to play. Uh, yeah, it plays random music from the game. Um, 
Yes, uh, this uh, bonus section, uh, this in fact, this whole menu, I don't think exists in the uh, SNES version. Uh, this is the PlayStation. Um, and it has uh, this nice little things here, I'll quickly show you it. Um, it says the, the studio, we've got the theatre, which will, where you can view the free um, motion videos. Uh, so like the third one we saw, the Magitech Empire is there. You've got the gallery, um, which, well, it literally shows our gallery, like um, this has got steals from the opening um, uh, sequence. This one's really cool, it actually has, it has the, uh, yeah, look at this, the storyboard um, that they made to the opening sequence. I think that is, that is awesome. I mean, that is just so epic. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, and then down here, I'll quickly show you. Uh, yes, this is something which I'm thinking about, I could have probably used this instead of something else, but never mind. Yes, there is a, a B Street here um, for pre C. Uh, C. I don't know what C means. <laughs> and yeah, as uh, you know, any B Street. Uh, was it by Street? Uh, I'm gonna say B Street. Um, it has the uh, enemies for um, for you know all the enemies in the game really, and it has all their stats. You can see uh, its um, weaknesses, which is very important. And so you can look at this if you're sort of curious about enemies or if. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's quite interesting, actually. I, I, I remember I used this a bit when I was uh, a little younger. Meh. Anyways, uh, enough blabbering around, I think. I think we should actually, uh, let's get on with the game, shall we? That's, that's what you're here to, that's what you're here for. Let's get cracking. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a... Yes, it is pronounced Magi, um, apparently. I always used to say Maggie, um, but isn't that the Simpsons character? Eh, well, whatever. And is this supposed to be doing this sort of like, going from dark to light with the text? I haven't played this game for years, so I don't know if that's right, but whatever. Yeah, um, I, like, I really do like the, um, sort of the era, I suppose, the game takes place now. Um, of course, all the, um... All the old Final Fantasy was sort of like medievalish time, but here we sort of you know gotten forward to like um, you know like the, it's like the industrial revolution. You know, I think that is just it's just really cool. You know, I, there's just so much I love about this game. You know, it, there is so much to love about this game. I tell you, uh, this is going to be one hell of an LP. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Can it be, viewers? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is not with a Google search. It is by watching Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a long one, but what else do you expect? You know, it is Final Fantasy. Oh, look, it's those uh, guys from the start. Hold on, wasn't she a blonde? There's the town. Yes, Biggs. Um, very humorously, uh, yeah, very, very humorously in the original um, US version, uh, they managed to actually mistranslate Biggs and call him Vix. How did you manage that one, Tom Woolsey? Oh gosh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let it slide though. <laughs> I feel it's quite entertaining how they managed to miss that one. Oh dear. Yes, why is she here? What what purpose does she serve? She fired 50 of our magnetic armor soldiers for under three minutes. Gosh. That'll work. Yeah, all this text is sort of time, so I could speed it up. Slave crown? Uh, what, is this like, uh, you know, the, the headwear of choice in the um, Industrial Revolution? Ah, I get it. The slave crown makes your hair go green. There we go, that actually explains a lot. I bet it's like in all the hairdressers. <laughs> we'll probably try and be a little quiet for this bit. Let's love this scene. Oh man, that's, this music is just so, so amazing. I mean, I, I know the Final Fantasy has always been praised for great music, but this is going to be one of the best musical scores, scores of the series, I swear to God. I mean, 
just there's so many memorable tunes and I absolutely love them. Uematsu, you outdid yourself, my friend. You really outdid yourself here. I mean, just amazing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> there's just so much to, I could go over. Um, but no, as I said, no, this game has got its moments. You know, it's the characters I think are very interesting. Uh, it's fact it's got both the um, largest character sort of amount of characters you can play as in any Final Fantasy for that matter. It's about like uh, is it 14 or something like that. It's, it's quite a big number. Um, a good few of those are optional, um, you know. Um, but I will be you know, obviously grabbing all of them uh, as many as I can. Oh. My I love this music, it's just... Uh, you do not realise what, what game you, you're watching. This is... I honestly think this is probably one of the best games that have ever been made. Um, yeah, for some reason, the uh, fun, funnily enough, the emulator goes slightly faster. Meh. Never mind. Um, anyways, let's head into Nosh. <coughs> Let's put her on points. No sense taking any risks. Forward! You're hiding behind a girl. Great, that's a great job. I mean, she is in a tank, but... Oh well. You dare to take me on? Bring it. Alright, first battle. Against guards. Now, as a general rule of thumb for this area, um... Everything dies in one hit. Um, basically. Uh, you do have obviously your free attacks, fire, bolt, nice, and elemental. You've got heal force, um, which uh, heals you, so I'll just quickly show you. However, our mystery girl has some uh, some extra attacks um, for some weird reason. Now, for the record, these guards are weak to poison um, attacks, um, like it makes any difference. Blah! <laughs> Yeah, this isn't, this isn't too hard, um, you know, but it's not supposed to be hard, you know, especially sort of like the, um, I guess the tutorial, I suppose, the way you look at it. Um, you know, to sort of get you into the, you know, the battle mechanics of the game, stuff like that. Trust me, it'll get awkward. Machine riding self important swine! Take this! Really? Really? He's sending a dog against tanks. Um, well again, these guys are weak to, uh, Lobos are weak to fire! Um, yeah, makes a difference, they've only got like 50 health, I think they ain't got 50, they've got 27 apparently. <laughs> yeah, I, I, say I have printed out all this blooming information, so I'm going to make as much use of it as I can. I swear, I, I, I mean, I can only imagine, I wonder if my dad will still float the bill for that. <laughs> Right. Nashi's food depends on us. Wait, freedom? Are we just are we just here to inspect the cave? No, it, we're not trying to take you over, right? Right, well, let's nail these guys. Um, I'll show you a couple more. I don't think I've shown you the ice beam. Um, wouldn't have thought it. Die. Right. I'm going to call the video here, so I'll see you in the next video.